Good evening. Welcome to Have I Got News For You. I'm Alexander Armstrong. In the news this week... There's evidence that now the election's over and done with, someone's got a lot of presents to wrap up for his generous Russian donors. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention all his children. <laughs> In Maidstone, one rookie reporter hasn't been told that the venom in Dominic Raab's spittle can be deadly. <laughs> <laughs> and as a last throw of the dice on the campaign trail, Jeremy Corbyn utters the magic words to summon up the legendary beardy man of Barnsley. The Tories have had nine years to fund our NHS properly. <laughs> On Ian's team tonight is a comedian who did Hispanic studies at university. Presumably he got a two Juan. Please welcome John Richardson. <laughs> and with Paul tonight is the ex-Tory minister who voted Remain but is backing Brexit. The sort of dithering that may explain why she and Jeremy Corbyn are no longer in politics. Please welcome <laughs> Nicky Morgan. And we start with the bigger stories of the week. Ian and John, take a look at this. Oh, yes. uh, right, hang on, here he comes. Five seats, that's optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> that's your own personal exit poll. And there's Boris and the blonde he's in love with, himself. <laughs> well, didn't see that coming. Big win for Boris. Silence. <laughs> Yes, but everyone a bit stunned. For those of us who stayed up all night, I think um, John Curtis just ruined it. And if you're going to tell us the result at 10 o'clock, <laughs> why stay up? <laughs> I had a friend who didn't watch at all, woke up and saw Boris Johnson saying, I won a big majority, and was delighted, cos thought he was lying, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and it had been a good night, but sadly, it wasn't true. And it, it does prove the old adage, you know, you can fool most of the people most of the time, if you lie enough. Uh, good news for the Loch Ness Monster as well. Good news uh, for the Loch Ness Monster? Yes, yeah. great news. It's been, a, it's been a great night for the Loch Ness Monster. In what sense? Um, well, because... It's going to get Ruth Davidson to, that, that... to accompany it round the, the lock. This is exactly right. If the SNP had reached 50 seats, Ruth Davidson had promised to swim naked in Loch Ness. And they only got 48. <laughs> uh, what did Boris say last night had given him? Just a had massive him. boner. <laughs> Absolute stunk on. He said in a speech it had given him a stonking mandate. <laughs> that used to be an aftershave, didn't it? <laughs> What's amazing, you have to look at it from Corbyn's point of view, the only warning we had, really, was all the times it's happened before and all the people <laughs> who said this is exactly what would happen. So sometimes you've got to hold your hand up and say, who was to know? <laughs> Apart from all the people who knew. And literally everyone got it wrong. Even the most overexcited Tories thought they were going to get a few. It's difficult for them to judge a system where it really should be... The number of MPs you have should be reflected by the number of memes that are retweeted on Twitter. Because <laughs> <laughs> up until 5 to 10, I thought, this is going to turn out all right, you know. Yeah, well, Twitter had a big Labour win. Yeah. But as so often with Twitter, they're wrong. 